Well, the fallout from last night's gubernatorial debate continues even 24 hours later. Lots of claims, lots of fireworks thrown out between the two candidates. But were they all true? In particular, the fracking claim by Paulette Jordan, which drew the most interest from those who watched. Tonight, our Joe Paris verifies claims made about fracking here in the Gem State. During the gubernatorial debate, one of our panelists asked Lieutenant Governor Brad Little about a news release put out by Paulette Jordan's campaign, accusing Little of allowing fracking on his private property. Now that release said in part, quote, in November of 2013, Little signed a lease with Snake River Oil and Gas to give access to more than 2,000 acres of his land in Canyon and Jem County for fracking. And when we asked about that, Little became very animated. I don't know where you got that because uh, uh, there's been no fracking. The fact that our current lieutenant governor here is saying that this is not an issue or that he is not a part of bringing hydraulic fracking to the state of Idaho, this is an issue for us. I implore Idahoans to fully look into this issue themselves and see the truth for themselves. Well, you'll be successful in stopping fracking because there is no fracking. Is little correct though? Has there never been fracking in Idaho? To get the facts, we went straight to the source and talked with Mick Thomas the Division Administrator of Oil and Gas at the Idaho Department of Lands. His answer to the Idaho fracking question was simple. Is there fracking in Idaho? There is no fracking in Idaho. So we can verify there is no fracking in Idaho, nor has there ever been. And Thomas tells us it doesn't look like it'll really happen in the future either. He says the geology of Idaho simply doesn't work with hydraulic fracturing. Because the geology of the field is not conducive to hydraulic fracturing as a method to recover the hydrocarbon. The rock is a loosely or moderately consolidated sandstone. So the fluids, whether it's oil or gas or condensate, flows freely to the well bore. Um, there's, there's no need to, to tease it out of the rock. It's going to come to the well bore. So what about the land leases that Little signed with Snake River Oil and Gas back in 2013? Well, Little openly admitted during the debate that he was one of hundreds of people that leased land for exploration projects. Now, in those projects, crews come out to the site and they use seismic waves just to survey what's going on below the surface. They never actually break ground. And just as Little said last night, Thomas says those exploration leases and projects are routine efforts to scout an area and they usually come up empty. Just because you have a lease, uh, it, it doesn't indicate at all that there's going to be drilling on your property. There's a whole other sequence of events that has to happen. Police is just the first step. Their survey in Little's area did come up empty, and Thomas says because of that, there will likely never be oil and gas projects in that area. Tomorrow night, our debate uh, verify series continues, but if you have something you want verified, just email us, verify at ktvp.com.